Hi, this is Eddie, and today we are going to work with leases with a residual value. Simply put, a residual value is a value of, say, leased equipment or leased buildings given at the end of the lease. And we're going to find that it's fairly easy to calculate payment of a lease when we're dealing with leases with a residual value. This is your simple, normal lease. Using calculators with time value of money module, we're going to enter the lease amount into the PV or present value register. The number of payments into the N register, the annual interest rate into the I slash YR register, or if you are working with a calculator with periodic interest rate register such as the Hewitt Packard HP12C you're going to use the periodic interest rate instead of the annual interest rate and the kicker here is you're going to enter the residual value as the future value or into the FV register as a negative number I'm going to show you two examples of how this works uh, first with the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator and then one example with the Hewitt Packard 10B2 Plus calculator. Our first example is to calculate the payment of a lease of equipment which at the time of the lease the value is $50,000. At the end of five years or 60 monthly payments the residual value is said to be $10,000 and the lease is going to be financed at 8%. So let's determine the monthly payment of a lease. This is a straightforward lease. No payments in advance, no payments at the beginning of each period, no odd periods. This is just straightforward. So we're going to add $50,000 or store $50,000 rather into present value. 60 into N, the annual rate is 8%, 8I slash Y, and the residual value we're going to enter as a negative number, 10,000, and put this into the future value register. Before I calculate payment, I want to check the P slash Y or payment per year register, and I'm going to do that right now and we want to make sure that's 12 because we are dealing with monthly payments compute payment and it turns out that our monthly payment is going to be eight hundred and seventy seven dollars and seventy two cents that's going to be the required payment for sixty months at eight percent taking the value of equipment from fifty thousand to ten thousand our second example Say we're going to lease a luxury car valued at $20,000. And the lease is going to go on for 48 monthly payments at 10.5%. The residual value of the car is going to be $5,000. I'm using an HP 10B2 calculator here to demonstrate this problem. Again, straightforward. I'm going to enter 20000 into present value, 48 into N number of payments. Rate's going to be 10.5%. And we're going to enter $5,000 as a residual value, negative, into future value. And I want to make sure we are dealing with monthly payments. So I'm going to enter 12, orange shift payment key. And that stores 12 into the payments per year. And we're going to calculate the payment and it turns out that the payment per month is going to be $427.80. This is how you deal with normal, straightforward leases without any special terms. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.